from behind the arc. Such an improved shooter, 47% from behind the arc, and he nails his first one tonight. And what's really nice about they did not do in that seven-game losing streak. A lot of close games, Francis, just unable to close out games yeah, right he, now. And as he said, each game has been something different where they've had a lead, maybe with four or five minutes to go, and, uh, you know, bad turnovers, missed free throws, poor offense into the game, 11 points. Three and a half assists per game. And you see he's not shy as again Holiday sizes up another three points. But Holiday's become such a weapon with that outside shot. Oh, Jizz! <laughs> Challenges Enjai loses that, but then Hunt is there. He was gonna go at him, wasn't he? Well, Chiz is very athletic. Oh. And Aziz gets him right back, Enjai. Flush of his own. Chiz is very athletic. Number one to go through with these ten newcomers on the Nevada staff, or I'm sorry, the Nevada roster. Two years at Duke, appeared in 19 games, three starts for Coach K. Is Enjai with the left hand? They don't rebound, they're not going to play. And if they can just get them to understand that they have to rebound and defend first, if they do those two things, it's going to make them a better team, and it's going to get them more minutes. And that's what Coach Romar is trying to instill in them right now. You know, Suggs keeps knocking down shots like that. He's going to get more minutes. Well, be a more aggressive to start this game. He's certainly been getting his teammates more involved. Seems a little more getting himself more involved as he drives another one to the rack. It's two more points. More aggressive? Yeah, well, and, and more importantly, under control mm -hmm. and being very patient with that when they, he did. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Ross comes in and hits his first shot. Never met a shot he didn't <laughs> like. Eight points. Ross taking the pass behind the arc, letting it fly. No hesitation. True freshman. Catches it in rhythm, though, and knocks it down. Isaiah going to work inside. Crafty. It's so strong with that left hand. Yeah. Nice English off the glass. But that last possession for Nevada. Connor, again, inexperienced. Settle for the three instead of just putting some pressure on the defense by at least putting the ball on the floor to see if he can draw a defender and then that way at least he can make a pass and get Nevada into some type of an offense. But again, he settled for the three. Threes have been kind for you, Dub, of late. This one by the freshman Ross. Well, Thomas centers the ball, sees Ross on the right wing there. Does a nice job of just getting the ball in an area where he can do something with it. Another of the good outside shooters. And Thomas doing what he does best. He finds a little bit of a gap in the defense. And with his strength, the ability to use the glass. And choose that though to the freshman up ahead to Holiday. Take off. Well, just story just mishandles the basketball, which you cannot do against Washington, and that leads to a run out. Burton probably playing a little too fast. Nevada went into a two-guard offensive set out front to try to give themselves some more space to operate, but Story trying to penetrate, mishandles the ball. He's a very good outside shooter. I like the two-man game that Nevada ran that time with Chiz and Story. You'll see a lot more of that as they get deeper in the season to get more familiar with each other. That time, get Isaiah Thomas back in. Huskies lead by 12. Under four to go here in the first half. Isaiah from downtown, got it. That's a nice job by, by Thomas. Isaiah for a second straight three, and he's got it. He's got 12 points now. You see, when he gets that rhythm off the dribble where he's able to step into that shot by creating a little space with the hesitation, he's really deadly there. Today with five to go. Finding Wilcox oh, that's from huge. the corner. That's huge. Now, we talked earlier about Thomas. Where was he going to be when we start talking about the offense and the leadership? A little short there. And we're seeing the struggles on offense for the Wolfpack. NBA now in double digits. He's got 11. And Burton not one to think they expected to lose Johnson, but uh, Babbitt had been projected to be uh, a pretty much a first-round draft pick by everyone. Yeah. Njai inside. Chance for a three-point play of his own. Burton's got those four fouls in just 14 minutes of play. Suggs misfires. Isaiah does not. 
His third three-pointer. And he's got 15 points. Do is defend and rebound and, and be a good teammate. And finish on the break like that. See, and, that's, and that's what he can do. Handwriting. They help us out tremendously. But sometimes... <laughs> Oh, and the flush down by Ross. What a pass by Isaiah. And Washington just simply gets Ross behind the zone. This is like this one. And Njai sets the screen along the baseline there against Elliott. And Elliott's staring the ball, losing his relationships on the floor. And then he's just staring at the basketball, and he gets screened and compete. Shooting just 27% from the floor doesn't help either as Gantz blocked inside. Kicks it back out to Isaiah for three. Got it. And he's got 20 now. And that's Darnell Gantt doing some big time work in there on the offensive glass. From Burton. Here comes Isaiah. Oh. <laughs> the pretty fake it up. He's got 22. Thing happens to story here on, on this last possession. Holiday free throw line jump in the mid-range game that you like so much. Love that. Love that. Burton misses another one. NBA that is rebound number 10 for him, so he has a double double. Suggs ends up with a nice ball movement. Pretty, pretty play, and Suggs finishes with the three. Yep. But don't force, don't force anything. Too good to not talk about again. And Brian Manning, nice job. Pitch it ahead. Extra pass there. And then you see Wilcox. He could have forced up something and tried to maybe make something creative happen off the glass there. But he just does a nice job of finding Suggs who knocks it down. And then Holiday, one dribble, pull up, nothing but bottom. Available with that knee injury. NBA to steal up ahead to Holiday. Let's see what we got. Not Showtime. Bad. That's Showtime. what you have. Not bad. <laughs> He's got 12 now. The lead is now 36. And now one of 10 Nevada from behind the arc. <laughs> okay. Ross, you better make that. Losing streak after beating Montana in their opener. Suggs again from behind the arc. He's got it. His second three-pointer. Burton answers with a shot inside. Gaddy comes right back and buries it. He has four fouls. He has not retreating. There's nothing he can do. And again, the level of confidence that he can But, uh, you know, very accomplished and just had some foot problems, which a lot of... He had 12 his last game against Portland State. Freshman. That's Gann, something he can do. 50% from behind the arc. And at 6'9", that was something he came back with after the summer workouts. 